but just yeah. support yeah. the wheel. Uh, my name is Alex Krebs. Um, I work with Bob Scott as an apprentice. I've been with him for six years with Clock Repair and Restoration in Durango. And um, today we're just uh, going through and cleaning the county courthouse tower clock. Um, a lot of your clock repair really comes down to just a proper cleaning and oiling to limit wear um, and to increase efficiency. When you do a standard cleaning and oiling, a lot of times you'll find worn parts that need to be fixed or replaced. And so this is just the first step in the repair process. So this clock was from the late 1800s. Uh, we have been able to locate the original order for this clock um, coming to Durango. Um, it is bolted to the floor and there's a series of pulleys that um, direct these cables over to the other side where there's uh, a weight for the strike side and a, another weight for the time side. And then this uh, rod goes up into the tower where there's a series of yokes which split the um, mechanism up to each dial uh, so that no matter from which direction you're looking at the courthouse tower, you can see the time. So there's quite a bit going on at the top too, as well as this cable which controls the bell. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's challenging, it's tight in here. I'm used to working typically in the shop, you know, I'll get someone's grandfather clock's movement and uh, put it in a small box, take it to the shop and work on it. You know, then I can kind of work in my own space and you know not have any distractions or anything but it is fun to work on this this is a pretty special piece of history and um, it's really neat just to see things magnified on this scale